I should be celebrating right now after the Supreme Court threw out the Republicans' bid to steal this election, but I'm not going to be celebrating because this is just, oh, this is not the beginning. It's not even the, the last battle. It is not the end. If you want to understand why, ask Keith Oberman, and then maybe you'll understand why and what needs to be done to the people who, who actually supported this treason. As you know, the Supreme Court, including all of Trump's appointees, has now laughed Trump's sedition suit filed by the pardon-seeking Attorney General of Texas out of court. Do not say, of course it has. Do not say, thank God that's over. Do assume that Trump has something else planned. Particularly, watch this just below the radar plot to challenge individual voters in the Electoral College. And never forget that the vast majority of one political party in this country happily signed on in support of overthrowing the duly elected government of the United States. And in particular, remember that this disloyal anti-democracy suit was supported by 126 Republican members of the House of Representatives, including the minority leader, Kevin McCarthy. He's the moron who signed on to the amicus brief just hours before the Supreme Court told the lot of them to F off. Think of these traitorous bastards as members of our government and figure out how we are going to punish them for trying to destroy democracy. Happily, Congressman Bill Pascrell of New Jersey has hit the nail on the head. In the afternoon, he wrote to Speaker Pelosi and asked her when the 117th Congress is sworn in on January 3rd to invoke Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the Constitution and refuse to seat Minority Leader McCarthy and the others who supported this thwarted coup. That section includes this, quote, no person shall be a senator or representative in Congress who, having previously taken an oath to support the Constitution of the United States, shall have engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the same or given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. Can Pelosi actually keep the disloyal 126 out of Congress? Probably not. Can she brand them for life? and make it clear to them and the others who will try this again this time or next time that their sedition will be remembered and it will be avenged, you bet your ass. Because a bully does not stop simply because the adult caught him. The bully stops when you hit him harder than he hit you. This is the America Kevin McCarthy wanted, and by God, this is the America he is going to get. Do not take this victory at some kind of confirmation that we won understand something that they failed but it's still going to get even harder and harder for them and for us to get through the next few weeks understand that donald trump is not going to stop his supporters aren't going to stop his allies and puppets in congress aren't going to stop the fact is we won this fight but the war is still continuing I don't want to sound like an alarmist, but frankly, we need to watch our backs. And as Mr. Oberman said earlier in the video, relaying the letter to Speaker Pelosi from the Pennsylvania um, AG, they need to be punished. The Republicans who did this need to face some kind of consequences. Because quite honestly, they get away with this. There's no telling how much damage the next time something like this happens. But for all of you out there, don't celebrate. We still got a long way before January 20th. More to the point, we are only days away from the Electoral College, and there's no telling what could happen between now and then. Stay safe, stay alert, watch your backs. CTP, know the truth, God bless. Stay safe. Peace to the left, justice to the right.